Goonies never say die, but they do grow up. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're taking a look at what the cast of the Goonies looks like today. We'll be looking at what the central cast of this 1985 cult classic looked like as of 2019, over 30 years since the film's release. Corey Feldman, Clark Mouth Devereaux. Corey Feldman was the child star of the 80s. Martin Sheen. Sheen, that's President Kennedy, you idiot! Was there a difference? I mean, he played Kennedy once. Along with Corey Haim, he was one half of the two Coreys who ruled the decade. His acting career died down in the late 90s, but he's made a number of cameo appearances and done a fair amount of voice work since. He's also released five studio albums, although reception was not positive. Just when you think it's all over, no hope in life, so what you gonna do? More recently, Feldman has been a vocal advocate for child rights and protections, and has spoken out in support of the Child Victims Act. He's still recognizable from his younger days, but tends to stay away from the spotlight. Carrie Green, Andrea Andy Carmichael. Anyway, he was being such a jerk. You know, tilting the mirror so he could look down my shirt. So I elbowed his lip. Young Carrie Green sometimes draws comparisons to Emma Watson, and we can't say that's not accurate. After playing Sweet Girl Next Door Andy, Green went on to make several movies and appeared on a handful of popular TV shows, including Law and & Order and ER. Have you told your husband? No. Green co-founded a production company, Independent Women Artists, with Bonnie Dickinson, but has not done much acting since the mid-90s. These days, she's lost the Oso oh 80s bangs, but she's as beautiful as ever. You know, you're a great little kid, uh, person. And you know, you keep kissing girls the way you do. The parts of you don't work so good, they're gonna catch up to the ones that do. Martha Plimpton, Stephanie Steph Steinbrenner. <laughs> As Steph, Martha Plimpton was the smart but cynical girl of the group, often the voice of reason whilst running from bandits. Okay, you kiss, now tell. Since her role in The Goonies, she's had a steady career on TV, in film, and on Broadway. Outside of acting, she's politically active and a vocal advocate for women and LGBTQ rights. In 2012, she won an Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series for her guest role in The Good Wife. You can't decide something that hasn't happened, Your Honor, and as my opposing counsel well knows, there is no liver available yet. Sporting a short blonde do similar to that of her younger self, albeit minus Steph's incredible square frame glasses, Plimpton is instantly recognizable and still looks like she's ready to tell folks in need how it really is. Brand is being so sweet to Oh, come on! Come on! Where are you? You're in the clouds, and we are in a basement. Joe Pantoliano, Francis Fratelli. <laughs> Joe Pantoliano played Francis Fratelli, the youngest son of Fratelli crime family. Since chasing down pirate gold, Pantoliano has had an incredibly steady career, involved with some of the biggest hits out there. Hey, kid, I want you to spill your guts. Tell us everything. Everything. Something of a chameleon, Pantoliano seems to disappear into each new role he adopts. You might have seen him as Ralph, Ralphie Cifaretto on The Sopranos, or maybe you remember him as Cypher from The Matrix. I know what you're thinking, because right now I'm thinking the same thing. Actually, I, I've been thinking it ever since I got here. <sighs> why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? More recently, he played Michael Gorski on the Netflix original series Sense8. You did what you felt was the right thing. Uh, I'm proud of you for that. Despite the fact that it's been decades, Pantoliano still looks very much the same, just less hair. Sean Astin, Michael Mikey Walsh. Man, I beat you. I got here in one piece. As the leader of the Goonies, Mikey is brave and resourceful. It's a casting type that can pretty easily transfer over to describe all of Sean Astin's best roles. The next time you see Sky, it'll be over another town. While younger Mojo Holics might know him as Bob the Brain newbie from Stranger Things, or from that adorable otter photo, Sean Astin has been a film and TV success for over three decades, and a face most people know on sight. Just like that, he was gone. Never saw him again. Easy peasy, right?
Whether helping destroy the One Ring or following his dreams of playing college football, his major characters have all been defined by their indomitable spirit. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't gonna never happen. Jonathan K. Kwan, Richard Data Wang. Did you see the clothes? Twelve dealers who won't be caught dead in those part of yesterday. Mm -hmm. With only a handful of films and TV shows, Jonathan K. Kwan left show business almost as soon as he got started. But in the 80s, between The Goonies and his role as Indiana Jones' sidekick in Temple of Doom, he certainly was doing well for himself. Dr. Jones, did they make the plane crash to get you here? No, Shorty, it's just a ghost story. Don't worry about it. Rather than continue in front of the camera, this martial artist became a stunt choreographer, working on Brian Singer's 2000 X-Men and James Wong's 2001 The One. Having spent so much time out of the limelight, it's totally understandable if you don't recognize the boy inventor of the Goonies now that he's all grown up. The stupid guys up there telling me to use the stairs when Dana's falling. Dana's her, nobody's care anymore. He's okay. Jeff Cohen, Lawrence Chunk Cohen. It's Chunk. I just saw the most amazing thing in my entire life. First you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Do the truffle shuffle. But for real, now an attorney and founder of Cohen & Gardner LLP, Jeff Cohen is probably a little tired of hearing that particular request. Cohen's last listed acting work was back in 1991, but since moving on from acting, he studied business and law, earning his Juris Doctorate from UCLA School of Law in 2000 and becoming an entertainment lawyer. An entertainment attorney, right, yep. in LA, yep. uh, that must be one of the craziest jobs in the world because everybody in that business is nuts. <laughs> I'm in no position to disagree, Larry. In real life, Cohen is quite a bit different from his clumsy Hawaiian shirt sporting younger character. And then I went to this movie theater, hit the puke in my jacket, climbed up to the balcony, and then, then I made a noise like this. <laughs> One may not recognize him right away, but he still seems to love working within the film industry, even if it's now in a different capacity. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Josh Brolin, Brandon Brand Walsh. You guys, this map is old news. Everybody and their grandfather went looking for that when our parents were our age. I mean, I mean, haven't you ever heard of that guy? What, what's his name? The pirate guy, One-Eyed Willie. Perhaps the character who changed the most, Brand Walsh grew up to be eight feet tall and purple. I'm gonna enjoy it very, very much. We're obviously kidding. But Josh Brolin did grow up, going from adorably good-looking to ruggedly good-looking, so not exactly a bad glow-up. Brolin is perhaps best known for his Marvel roles, playing both the MCU Big Bad Thanos and Cable in Deadpool 2. Outside of superheroes, Brolin has starred in multiple Coen Brothers films, including No Country for Old Men, True Grit, and Hail Caesar. <laughs> Now you listen to me, Buster. Nick Skank in the studio have been good to you and to everyone else who works here. If I ever hit you bad-mouthing Mr. Skank again, it'll be the last thing you say before I have you tossed in jail for colluding in your own abduction. Despite his success, he's indicated repeatedly that he'd be willing to don the red bandana once more should a Goonies 2 ever be greenlit. Hollywood, make it happen. Ben, what happened to your braces? What braces? Mikey with them. Mikey, that little... Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.